Welcome back for more reptiles, archery, engineering. Ladies and gents, have fun and please enjoy. Hey ladies and gents, this is Scotty here. It is now 6.36 in the morning. Alright now my boy is awake. Yep, yeah, so he's awake. And Stumpy's awake, so let's turn on their lights. Hey my boys. The two handsome little boys. You two are gonna get girlfriends and I promise. <laughs> so right now is cloudy outside and yeah, let's see how we go. Plus after I get back from my archery, I gotta help my dad with the trailer, the coffee van, and did the, the wiring. So I think that's the only thing that is wrong with it is the wiring. So that's good. Then yeah, yeah, figure out something else. So right now it is kind of good. Oh. There's clear sky right over there. You can actually see that orange bit right there. That's clear sky, so this sky's gonna be clear when I get there, so that is pretty good to me. So right now my boys is doing okay. But trying to find them females, it's gonna be a, little, a lot more harder, so yeah. So right now I gotta get myself ready to go. Both of my bows is in the car, so I don't need to be worried about them. Plus, it's gonna be good. So, yeah. So right now, I gotta get myself ready for today. And I'll see you guys at Archery. All right, ladies and gents, I'm at Archery right now, and the time is, I got here early, so I just closed the gate because, yeah, it's 7.26 right now. So if my friend Kelly, she's the new president of the Archery Club, says um, a 12 o'clock um, class, like midday at like 12 o'clock p.m., that's a late class, not an early one. So right now I got a whole heap of sheep. Across the friggin' road, looking at me. Yeah, what? What's this? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> I just made them look. <laughs> oh fucking! Oh, I hate this. Fucking hate sheep. They smell like shit. So right now, let's go on the field, have some shots, and then at about. 11 hopefully the class starts today so I'll see you guys on the field then hmm okay I got my target on 30 meters I don't think anyone's coming today so it's a quite a quiet one I just marked my down I just signed myself in as a volunteer and I am but let's see how I do today is if no one shows up, I'm by myself.
Oh. Okay. So, if no one shows up, it's still a public holiday. So right now, let's get the bow ready. And yellow balloon on yellow. I don't know how that goes. Can't even see yellow properly. <laughs> So right now, let's set up the compound, get it all marked up. This, this is going to be a really good day. And I have to be home before 12 because I've got the whole family coming over, so let's get this set up. There's my arrows. There's my arm guard, my launcher, my arrows, my clamps for the bow, my stabilizer, my bow. It's 54 point, uh, well, 54 um, pounds on the bow, so 54. A bit powerful, but I'll get used to it. So right now, let's set this thing up. Get it ready. And this stabilizer is from my friend Isaac. He gave it for me. He gave it to me as a late Christmas present, and it is a really good Christmas present too. I need. I need one of these um, stabilizers. So right now, that's done. So right now, move the bag back. Put you guys up a little bit. <laughs> All right. Put the clamps on. And voila. Gear is set. Gear is ready to go. So, pretty good. So right now, I gotta go, I gotta go to the toilet again. But I'll see you guys up first. I do you like that compound actually lined up with the bow so that's pretty good to me and that is pretty good so I'm gonna have a toilet break right now but I'll be coming back to put the arm guard and the um, wrist trigger on to start shooting so I'll see you guys when I get back all right um but here's the point, if no one comes here before 10, it's a, it's a public holiday still and no one shows up, well, I'll just have a day on myself, but I have to be back before 12 beers, I gotta help my dad with the wiring and stuff, so, yeah, but for now, I'm enjoying the view of the bush. I was up there next to archery. I was up there when I went for the bushwalk. I was up there. I could see the main building. I can see the driveway. I can see the whole field. I was right up there. So that's pretty good. But down in this gully is all the kangaroos. So hopefully they will pop up soon. And I got my bow set up. 
because I've done the fishing line by myself, it's all freaking good. So, yeah. So, that's okay. That's all good. So, the target's about 31 meters. And that's not bad for a good start. So, I haven't shot it yet. But if no one shows up about before 10 or something, I'm going home because I don't want to waste my time. But, yeah. That foam goat on top of the chair, it looks real. I don't know. I don't like it. Why it's moving, I don't know. That looks freaky. It looks real. Oh well, if no one shows up, no one shows up. So, yeah. So I marked myself down as a volunteer. But I don't know if someone's got to pop up or not. But, yeah. Or it's just me or uh, today because no one's, yeah. So right now, let's start getting ready to shoot and actually get ready to shoot beers. I gotta be back before 12 beers. I got a whole family to see. I got my niece to see, my baby sister, that is my niece's mum, uh, my little brother, and not my brother-in-law because he broke up with my sister, so yeah but it's his fault not not my sister's so right now let's start getting getting ready that pigeon flew away really fast and earlier I, I heard the male kangaroo so he's down in the gully somewhere and he made a ooh, the kind of noise that is so fucking freaky right now. So right now, let's get let's get ourselves ready and so on. I got a banana milk what my mum brought me yesterday, so I need to drink this. It's really good. It's a banana fix shake from Oak. And it's really good. It's a really good um, milk. Doesn't go off. It's been made since 1967, so it's not. It's not, it's not bad. These kind of milks are being made from the oak factory, where oak chocolate milk came from. Oh, that's pretty good to me. Gives me a lot of energy. So right now, let's put our gear on. Let's do a couple of shots. Have a break. Do another couple of shots. Then when 10 a.m. hits and no one shows up, let's go home, see the whole family, and then let's feed the dragons because I brought crickets for my dragons yesterday. Like you've seen on the yesterday's video that was Friday so yeah so right now let's do some shots and get ready so yeah it's been a pretty busy week for me helping my parents to get the coffee van up and running and that's my dad's new work after the work van's up and running my dad's going to quit mid-state because they are not paying him that much so that's why so right now 31 meters easy
Uh, gotta drink this before it gets warm. Done. Drank that in a couple seconds. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for my stomach. It's nice and smooth and not really rough. Because I can I can taste all the ingredients from the banana. You got banana, you got vanilla bean. That's only two ingredients in the banana milk of oak. So yeah. If no one shows up about 10, let's go home and actually relax. Because I am not going to stay here waiting for them, so let's do some shots. Shoulder cramps, so yeah, that's the problem. I shot cook about. That's a seven. Yeah, I'm getting fucking good numbers today. So we got eight, a seven. Oh, far out. My shoulders keep cracking. Another eight. Hey, that's enough. <laughs> I'm getting good numbers right now. That's good. There's a number four. That's a nine. Number five. That's a six. That's a bad one. Oh, my shoulder's still hurting. That's an eight. Not, not bad numbers.
Okay. That's not bad. I got four sevens, one eight, and one three. So that's not bad. That's not bad numbers. I'm more better sharpshooter on the compound, but yeah. So that's only the first round. It went really good. All reds and one black. That wasn't Kelly, so yeah, if no one shows up, I'm going to go home at ten just uh, what's the use? If everyone's still at holidays, well, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, this is not normal. But still, I'm having a good time. Alright, second round. That's a five, that's a bad one. But that's like a start. Not the finish. Seven. So that's three, down, three more to go. So that's a six. Oh, the sun's bright. Far out. That's lovely. One more. That's a nine.
Fine. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, chicken egg. So I got one five, two sixes, one seven, two nines. So, not bad. So right now, that is round three done. So, that is pretty good to me. So I'm going to take a break, and I'll be back at it. Okay. To show you guys where the kangaroos are, there's kangaroos up on top of the hill, but there is kangaroos down in the gully. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Um, but right now, I don't know if anyone's gonna pop up soon or not. But yeah, my my friend Shane, he's not coming back. Um. He's looking after his wife that is not well. I understand that. So right now, I just need to watch out for snakes because down here, you got the red belly or you got, you got the eastern brown. And the eastern brown is more vicious, more fucking growly kind of snake. Yeah, right here. This is the gully where I'm talking about. It's like a river. And down there used to be a river. But it's all been covered with leaves and all dried up and stuff. But when the rain falls really hard, this whole thing fills up to where the tr tree roots are. There's a little cave right there. And don't step on top or you go boom straight down so yeah this is pretty good because right down here you got all kinds of different animals like different kind of frogs different kind of venomous snakes you got kangaroos you got small kangaroo rats that is native to my um, country you got wallabies and so on so down here all kinds of different animals so hopefully someone will pop up and definitely someone will pop up that's not my friend Jeff so yeah so if anyone if everyone's still on holidays from Australia day from yesterday well, I'm just the only one here, and that's the thing. That's not Kelly. Yeah, I don't think no one's. Not, I, I don't think anyone's got to pop up today. It's a public holiday, so if no one shows up at twelve. That's my phone, someone's messaging me, so, yeah. But look at the train carriage. The builders and the maintenance, got <coughs> the maintenance people is actually remaking that as brand new. The whole roof is r r like liquid rubber to seal the whole roof to make it brand new again. They just redone the whole side, even this side and on the other side of the, and the back. So, the whole outside of the carriage is done. They're just redoing the whole inside now. And what my friend Kelly wants to do is make that as a museum of archery. What year the archery started and what year is today is where new archers have arrived so yeah pretty good <coughs> so right now 
I just done three rounds, so yeah. If no one if no one shows up today, I'm the only one here. There's a car coming down. That's not Jeff. My friend Jeff drives a. That's a bat. That's a freaking bat. Wow. What the fuck? Where did the bat came from? That's literally a bat. What the hell is it? I don't know. I just saw a bat. What the living fuck is this? It was one of the miniature bats about this big. It came from that way. He's in here. It's not a flying fox, it's one of those little tiny bats. Oh, shit, it's such an amazing thing what I saw. But where is it? Where the f It just kind of disappeared. Oh, there we go. It's right there. Come on, get out of here, little bat. Here we go. There. It's a small insect bat. He's really pissed. There we go. Did you see that? He's there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's hanging upside down. <gasps> My first time seeing a little tiny bat that big. That makes a big difference. I need to get him out. Because Kelly doesn't like any animals in here. So, I don't know. Should I bang the wall to bring it out? Wait, does that have. Alright, let me have a look. Because that bat went in the. No, that's sealed off. So, yeah. That was a small, tiny bat. He's still hanging out to down. That is quite awesome right there. But I want to get him out. I don't want Kelly to, um, Pesticide the, the poor little thing. So I'm gonna do this. Okay. Grab that. Three, two, one. He's in there.
He's still in there, little bugger. Yeah, it's, a, it's a small fruit bat. That is quite awesome. I should have closed the um, roller door. That is so freaking awesome. I've never seen a tiny little bat like that. That went flying across there, back in forwards. And that is friggin' awesome. So, I don't know what I'm gonna explain to Kelly after she gets here, but yeah, it's, only a, it's, it's a small, tiny bat, about that big. It's not a flying fox. Flying foxes, they can't fit through there. There's only a bat about that big that can fit in there. He came from the gully so he was in one of the caves so yeah you can see him he's actually in there hanging upside down just there He's there now. So I don't know what I'm going to say to Kelly, but hopefully Kelly understands there's a bat in here now. Fuck. I should have closed the road door when I got the target. At. That bat came from the gully, so yeah. I have to explain to Kelly. But that's the first time I've seen a little tiny bat about that big. That is really super fast. So, but luckily I caught it on camera. <laughs> this is my first time. So, if he decides to come out later tonight, I don't know how he's got to get out because there's no gaps where he can go into or out. And that part of the roof is sealed. So he can't go straight out. So yeah, I have to explain to Kelly about it. And just, yeah. One of the tiny, tiny little bats. Absolutely freaking awesome. Oh well. So right now, let's get ready to shoot. That was absolutely cool. The bat from the gully flew straight in. He's in there now, in the wall. So, I'll see you guys back on the field. Okay, we are back on the field. That was crazy. Just seeing that bat is actually nuts. But that, that bat doesn't want to come out, so I know how to get him out. Because they got little sharp little teeth that can rip a big chunk out of you. So, yeah, that bat came from the gully. I don't know how, I don't know how, but I think I actually stepped on top of his cave and he came straight into the archery building. So, let's do some shots.
Oh, where's my freaking... <laughs> where's my arrows? <laughs> I forgot my arrows. So, that little tiny bat is one of the uh, second native bats from Papua New Guinea that is next to Australia anyway. Um, it traveled a long way, literally. Alright. But first I gotta check my messages. Do some shots then now. Nine. Nine again. Ah, uh, oh, my shell pinched.
Okay. So I got a two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah. My shoulder pinched. Yeah, that's not very good. So that's the fifth. Uh, that's the fifth round. So I'm going to take a break and change the battery, and I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay, I am back. I was checking if the bat's in there, and the bat is still in the gap where it flew. So hopefully. It'll fly out the stuff on it, or just stay in there for the <laughs> rest of the fucking week. Seven. Seven again. Ball on the edge. What happened here? That's annoying.
I tore a rib. <laughs> Fuck that hurts. Alright. It looks like no one's going to show up. So, yeah, this is pretty weird right now. But that little tiny bat's still in the whole building, so, yeah, it's pretty weird. So right now, um, let's do a couple more rounds, then let's head off. No one's got, no one's got to pop up today, so yeah, it's still a public holiday, so no one's gonna show up, so yeah. Or someone is, I don't know. Oh well, let's do a couple more shots. Seven. Nine. Two. Oh, my shoulder's fucking killing me. Ah.
Fuck. Oh, ladies and gents, I gotta get my knife. I'm gonna cut my arrow out because it's stuck in there. It's in one of those little circles in the target. It's stuck. So I have to cut it out. Or risk it another broken arrow. I don't want to break another arrow because these arrows cost my mum a whole lot. And they are not fucking cheap at all. So let me do this and I'll be right back.
<laughs> oh well. Ah, oh, Kelly's here. So I'm gonna see what, what she's up to. So I'll be right back. Okay, I had to help Kelly set up things, so I'm all good now. So yeah, I gotta set myself up now. We get a 66's lefts and rights. Practice shot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, yes, yes. Sunny lost their new three mates. Yeah. It's funny because um, council tree fell down over the front of the house. Oh, really? Anyway, I've got the house here. It's a new wire and a new sort of top of the pocket pipe on the bottom of the exit. So I went to council and I said, this is not a big part of the house. I'm going to change it to the top of the pipe on the bottom Trees in my yard, so I said, So, we're not going to trees for my own land. It's just bad luck. I've got trees for the old time. I didn't say that to the kids. Ah, ah, ah. The world is just saying, I think
I hold good things, they cut me down in case. So this is what's called. Sorry, I'm not I don't have any indications. You are. And give me nice separation of weight. Thank 
found one of Lucky's arrows on the left. Oh well, it's rusty. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Logan's just getting his arrows in the back tire on right there. And he's shooting, so he's just getting his arrows anyway. So right now, I'm just concentrating on my own target. This is only the last round what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on. So yeah, right now, the time is... The time is... 9.59. One minute to 10 o'clock. So yeah. And... Yeah, one minute. Yeah. Okay. Just wait for Logan to get his arrows out. Then I uh, start shooting again. Okay. Right, yeah. It's 10 o'clock right now, so that's good. Go check my messages. He's still pulling out his own arrows, so just saying, Wayne. these arrows now. So let's get ready. Do the last round and that will be it. Okay, just get in place and then start shooting again. Yes. 
You'll be shooting. You'll be shooting a 720, so that's to um, 
two ends of six, two, two lots of six ends at 60. Uh, so under 18 male, I think I'm actually curved. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, da -da 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 -da. And you should have cared with this one. Oh, okay. Alright, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Now it's 50 metres on the, on the small target, on the 80 centimetre target. Yeah, that's all it is. So 50 metres, two lots of six ends. That's all that is. And then you shoot also. So, Canvas at 60, 50, 40. So you should also shoot at 60, 50, 40 as well. Uh, there's an indoor <coughs> at 18 metres. <coughs> it's a field, so there's no cloud. So you've shot a field, so that's good. You know what you're doing with the field. Um, so what peg are you on? You on the red peg? Yeah, I think you would. No, um, uh, hang on, let's have a look. No, no, you're on the blue peg. Yeah. You're on the blue peg. Okay. Yep, you do. You're on the blue peg. Okay, okay so it's the, it's the 50 metres uh, on the 80 centimetre target. You also shoot a 60, 50, 40 on the large target, 122 centimetre target. And then there's the indoor, and there's the thing. So there's four things. Are you going with the thing? I don't think so, because my parents have said it's four days for me. Yeah, 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 I'd say so. Yeah, all right. Okay. So, have you practised indoor? A little bit. Yeah, 18 metres. Um, now, with the contact, depending on what they shoot. So, you've Yeah, it looks like ours, so I'll be right back.
I'm short as that one. You're getting close to the freaking rubber hooks. I'm looking for a stringer. You're going to split the arrow with another arrow. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need the arrow. Oh, this how it's good. Tops. Now you know how to string? You'll have to remind me. Yeah, that's alright. Big on the little. Big on the bottom. Big on the bottom. It was on the top. Yep. Now get on to a to an even can't do it on the slope. Stand on that rubber That's it. That's it. Hey. Finally got it. <laughs> Make sure it's on properly. That was my fifth arrow. Yep. Put it down. Well, really adrenaline going from the main thing away. Eyes away from the ends. Just, just turn it over and just check. There we go. So it looks right. Oh, how are you getting? Yes, and then you can push it in. Close shots like to that. one another of those arrows. Oh. Okay. There you go. Oh. See, you know what you're doing. Yeah. Go! 
those are some good shots, dude. That was absolutely beautiful. Thanks, guys. All nines and tens. And that's a good group, too. It's in the middle of the yellow. All right. That's a really good group right there. You can bring your target out. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So use these. Um, The 21st round, fifth hour went through it. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to go back and have a look at that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Alright ladies and gents, I am gonna get home. Yeah, it's been a long morning to what's the time anyway? It's about 1044 already shit. <laughs> so right now I got a picture to show you. Finally got that balloon on the fifth hour on the 21st round. Look at that. That's pretty good to me. So right now, I am going to go home. 
and spend time with family. So go have a look at the photo and I'll see you guys back at home till then. I'll see you guys back at the Dragon's Den. Okay, I just got back and right now I'm trying to find my glasses. Where are they? Back in the bag, I don't know. There we go. Is guess what should be done? And he done it on the substrate. Oh Jesus! He done it right there, the little smelly bugger. Great. I'm gonna clean that up right now. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is just cleaning it up. Look at that. Yeah, it's right next to Chevy's. Wait, that that's Dumpy's. Okay. Okay, good. Clean bag is very smelly. All right. There's another one. Really? Two? Great. <laughs> two big poos from these two boys. Alright. That's easy to clean up. Smelly little buggers. So yeah, I had a really good time at archery. I set up everything for Kelly. She's the president of the archery club. What the hell are you doing, you smelly little bugger? Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? You're shooting. Hey, that's not bad. I'm going to have to fly all this down again to make it equal. There we go. Sorry, Stumpy. So, yeah, but I had a good time and you've seen the 21st um, row of shots while I've done. The fifth arrow actually hit the balloon on the 21st round. Bugger that. Or was it the 19th round? I lost count. But, yeah, my fifth arrow hit the balloon finally, so... That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So, I had fun with all my friends. If I help Kelly with the um, gear and stuff, so that's done anyway. So right now, I'm gonna pick up this herb here. Ah. Oh. Oh well, I'm gonna relax now, so right now, I'll see you guys later, till then, i got to get myself a coffee or something to drink, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Alright, 
Time to feed the dragons. All right. <laughs> Stabby's really excited. Turn that off. So I think blow the door close on me. So yeah. Today's been really good. It's only what is it? 148 right now. So right now I'm just getting Food for my dragons. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And these are Four arms of fucking muscly things. Stop wiggling out the fucking toys. Right, three, six, nine, ten. Eleven. Twelve. Fourteen. Point. 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20. Alright, that's 20 worms. Boys, calm down. Jeez, you see a wild bugger so late. These. <laughs> I love these two. These two are fucking wild buggers. Boys, can't. Oh my god, shitty. Yeah. Shitty. What the hell, boy? Put all the substrate away from the side of the tank. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, right. No, I'm ten. All right. These two are freaking what? Oh I am so kind of freaking put you guys on detention. And if you guys, hey, what's this? What's this? What's this? Hmm? Hmm? What? Else? How are they eating? Let me grab you guys uh, off the. These two are freaking wild buggers. <clears throat> so yeah, it, it's been quite a good day so far. Chevy's, Chevy's eating so well right now. Hey, you got one more? He ate the last one. <laughs> Stevie was biting on the, you know, like licking and his tongue keeps sticking to the sides of the 
um, the title lid. <laughs> oh my god, jeez. What if you bum? Come on. Get out there. Come on, baby boy. Come on, shoes. Don't pop my fingers. Don't pop my fingers. Ay, ay, ay. So right now, that's the feeding done. It's to make a mess. Jeez. So right now, um, those two got fed, so that's good. Yeah, I tell you, they only took about five minutes and 50 seconds. Well, actually two minutes. They don't take their time to eat it. So right now, it is 153, well, 13.53 and a half, and so, yeah. Stumpy right here, he's a cheeky little bugger. He's listening. <laughs> Even Chevy, he's a cheeky little bugger as well. So both of them is cheeky. So right now, I'll see you guys um, probably in the afternoon where it's bedtime for these two. I had a long freaking day. I got to spend time with the family, so I'll see you guys later. All right, ladies and gents, it is time to end the video. And right now, it's time for my boys' sleep time. It's nearly four o'clock anyway, about ten minutes, so yeah. Tomorrow at archery I'll be feeling much better. But today I was tired. Like I woke up about one in the morning randomly. Did not even get back to sleep, so tonight I hope I gotta get proper sleep tonight so I can shoot properly. So yeah. So right now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry it's going to be a short one, but yeah. Today, uh, well, it's been a pretty good day anyway. So right now, let's put these to the bed. Oh, baby boy. Come on. Come on. Bedtime. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, Chef. Good boy. These two boys have some sleep, okay? Ah, so right now, I had a big day today, so I'm going to just relax and hopefully I do better things tomorrow at archery, like better shooting. Today I was a little bit tired and stuff, but I'll get a bit of sleep t t tomorrow anyway. So yeah. Oh, no, ladies and uh, There we go. So, I hope you guys loved this video. And I hope you guys loved it. So tomorrow, I'll be much better. And shooting a lot more good. So I'll see you guys tomorrow till then. I'll see you guys tomorrow anyway, so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh, one thing. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and get over here!